This is a quick video to tell you the difference between a torque sensor and a cadence sensor on an e-bike. So in this example, the bike on the left, the Mihogo, has a torque sensor on it, which senses how hard you're pushing on the pedals and assists you accordingly. And then the Rave Bullet on the right, which is more of a moped style e-bike, has a cadence sensor that just gives you full throttle when you turn the pedals more than a quarter turn. So here's what that looks like. And here's how a cadence sensor works. So this is set at maximum pedal assist. So as soon as you turn the pedals three quarters of a turn, you hear that thing just kick on and give you full throttle. So you really have to control your speed on this bike if you're gonna pedal by lowering the pedal assist to, from five, four, three to one. Because if you've got it on maximum pedal assist, as soon as you turn the pedals three quarters of a turn, it's gonna start whipping around. And if you just barely pedal, just that's called ghost pedaling, and you're not helping the bike at all, as long as you keep them moving, it's going to keep full throttle to the rear wheel. And now with the torque sensor, you can see if I kind of ghost pedal it, you don't hear the motor kick on at all. But then if I put a little bit of torque on it and it can feel that I'm pushing hard, then the motor spins up. But it doesn't really give me full power unless I continue to give it full torque. So you can have this one in the highest pedal assist and still just cruise along slowly if you're barely pedaling. And so you have a lot more control over how fast the bike goes when you've uh, got a torque sensor versus a cadence sensor for this reason. You can pretty much leave it in five and then pedal softly if you want to go slow or pedal fast if you want to really take off. And it really makes a big difference, especially on a bike that doesn't have a throttle that you ride like a regular bicycle. So which one is best for you? I think it really depends on the bike. Like the bike on the right is more of a motorcycle. Uh, you're 90% or 100% throttle only on that thing. It's not real fun to pedal that one. Whereas this one has bicycle ergonomics and I use it to get exercise sometimes and it's kind of fun to pedal along. And so on that one, I really like having a torque sensor versus just a regular cadence sensor. So it depends on the bike and then what kind of riding you're really gonna do. Are you a pedaling person or are you a motorcycle guy? So I hope that explains it a little better than uh, whatever else is out there. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.